guys, what is up? Brunnen here, aka Brumbo, back with a video. I'm sorry for the schedule once again, it's still kind of messed up. I'm trying to get back on schedule, trying to think of ideas, but it's not been really successful lately. So, probably as you guys can tell, obviously. But I'm trying to get back on it, thinking of things to do. Mods are coming for the car, so obviously that'll be some videos. But besides that, I can't really think of much things to do. I want to vlog into the car, but the problem is with this new DSLR, I need a suction cup mount. And the one I had before doesn't support the weight of this camera. So I gotta buy a new one of those, and that's like $85. So I don't know if I want to spend $85 and a suction cup mount so I can vlog in the car, where I can just like vlog out here, save $80, and then put that money towards the car. I don't know. You guys can decide if you want. Leave a comment below if you want. I don't know. But going into today's topic, it's gonna be about the issues with the car. Are finally all the problems with this car fixed or not? As you guys know, had the new tires. And I'll tell you about those soon, don't worry. Then I had a boost problem, I fixed that, I'll tell you about that also. But there might be other problems with the car and I'll get to that after I talk about the N75 and the tire. First off, the N75 valve. As you guys know, I made a video about that, me installing it. But now I get to tell you about it, if it worked or not. As you guys can tell, probably, it worked. So now, my turbo is perfectly fine and I have no more lip mode, so that is really nice. The car's back to normal. I'll show you guys the part once again if you didn't see that video. Basically, it's just a little sensor, has two tubes connected to the turbo inlet valve right here. So you can see the coppery shiny thing connects to the turbo inlet pipe. That's what I replaced. There's another sensor that goes to it right here. It was like a five minute install and it fixed my whole turbo problem. I thought I need a new turbo, I thought there was a vacuum leak, I thought there was a boost leak. So much problems, but this little part that was $60 fixed it all. So as you guys just heard, it could have been a lot of things which worried me because I didn't want to spend all this money to fix one thing and that wasn't even the problem when it could have been another thing. So luckily I got super lucky, bought the first part for the car that I thought would be wrong and that fixed it. So $60 well spent. Well anyway, if that didn't fix the problem, it did need to be replaced. Usually it's like a maintenance thing, kind of like your oil. But everything else that was wrong wasn't a maintenance thing. So if I did that, that would have been a waste of money. But luckily, the N75, kind of was maintenance. Next, the tires. So, Michelin Pilot Super Sports, really common tires, really good for grip and pretty good in the rain compared to other tires with this kind of grip and tread pad. I already knew coming into it, it would be a great tire. It has five out of five stars. Everyone talks good about it, so I was expecting a lot out of it and I was not really expecting much negatives. And it turned out to be right. This tire hooks like crazy before I would spin, would not even mean to. Luckily, these tires fix that because it's really annoying just to spin and not go anywhere. I mean, some people think it's cool, but for me, I want to go places. I don't want it to spin, especially in a dig. I just don't want to spin there and then have the other guy just have this huge lead on me. But these tires do spin barely, and I mean barely, like it's not even noticeable. You can't even hear it in the car, I just know, because I looked and it left marks from like it's spinning. But you can't hear it like my other ones, you would hear it. Way better off the line if you're doing a race or a dig or whatever you want to call it. It's way better. Overall, way better tires. They just feel way better on turns. They seem to grip a lot better. The car doesn't seem to understeer as much. I don't know if you guys believe me with this stuff, but I'm just telling you, I think it helps a ton. I didn't know tires could make such big of a difference until now. I know if I put them on the back, it won't do as much as they do on the front because front wheel drive does everything. It turns, puts the power down, all in the front wheels. But with the back wheels, I know it won't do as much, but I'm still gonna put them in the back eventually. I don't know when but just to make it look nice and match and have the cool tread pattern, I'll do it eventually. So those were the two things that were wrong with the car ever since like the beginning of winter. I just never got to it, I've been busy, I didn't have the money, all that kind of stuff. But now I fixed those two problems, you're probably wondering, Brennan, is there anything else wrong with the car? It's an Audi, so it kind of should be kind of reliable, but also it's a 2003, so it's old, things are gonna go bad. Is there anything else wrong with the car? And actually, there is, sadly. But luckily, it's not something that just came up, it's been on the car forever. Ever since I bought this car, two years ago, it's had a check engine light on, always. Sometimes it blinks, and that's only like when you're above 100 miles per hour, I'm not really sure why, but it's had a check engine light and that's always been on. I've had it diagnosed tons and tons of times, because I wanted to make sure before I bought the car even that it wasn't something major. And I keep diagnosing it, trying to fix it with little things, and it doesn't seem to be working, and you'll probably guess why, but it's an engine misfire on cylinder two. It's a four cylinder, so even at idle, this car is misfiring, so it's a pretty bad misfire. I've been trying to fix it by cleaning the injectors, I thought they were dirty, but apparently it's not the injectors, or they're just not dirty, I don't know. It could be a seal inside the injector. There could be so much possibilities for this also, that's the bad thing, but hopefully, I want to get new injectors soon, and I'm going to have this really diagnosed at the place I got my tune at, 
and my timing belt done. Because I specialize in European cars, so I know they'll be able to fix this. Before I went to just a random shop, had them put the little scanner on and just tell me the problem. They didn't really diagnose it, where I know this place will. I'm just really curious to know what it is, because like I said, it's been bothering me for two years, and I've been just really lazy, just because it hasn't really affected the car. Maybe in horsepower, in some situations, it's been affecting me, because you know, the whole cylinder misfire. Therefore, not getting the power I'm supposed to, but, you know, it's not like hugely major, like my engine's gonna blow up or anything, so I've been kind of lazy about it. But for sure, that's my next thing I wanna get fixed before anything else happens, because you never know with this car I've learned now. The back tires could go down, and I could be end up getting Michelin Pilot Super Sports for the back soon. Who knows? That's the only bad thing, too, because as you guys know, I've been wanting to get wheels for a long, long time. I was very close, then the timing belt I had to replace. Then I started to gain a little bit more, and now the tires blew. Like, Constantly things come up and I'm getting less and less close to getting these wheels and I've learned just to accept that if things happen and I'll just keep going trying to save up and if things come up I just got to get those it's priorities But I don't want you guys to think I don't want these wheels I want these wheels crazy bad I know make the car look so much better and it help it performance wise is because they weigh a lot less also But I got to get things done save the engine save the car make it drivable at least because I need tires to drive this I don't have anything else to drive so I need tires so I'm sorry for things that have been laying back the wheels. I just really need to get some of this stuff done. But you guys love when I make videos like this, talk about the car, because some of you guys want this car maybe, or looking into it and always ask me if there's problems with it, uh, how did I fix it. So hopefully this is another video to add to the list to help you guys understand problems I've had with the car and how I fixed them, and if there's any other problems that I haven't resolved. It's obviously the misfire. I've also tried fixing it, you know, with the ignition coils. I thought that would help a lot, because the ignition coils tend to be really bad for the 1.8, especially this year, like the 2003, 2004. So I replaced those hoping it would fix it. It didn't, but still made the engine look nice, put new spark plugs in it. So I did maintenance at the same time, but I was really hoping it would fix it because that was another way that I could have a misfire, bad spark plug, or a bad ignition coil. So I wasn't so lucky on that situation, but still I benefit from it. So just in case you guys thought I was lying, which I don't know why I would be, it's not like I'm bragging, but I'll turn the key. As you can see, check engine light and airbag. The airbag light's on because something's wrong with the driver's seat, I don't know. It got disconnected and just never connected back correctly. I'm not really sure about that. But yeah, check engine light is on. But that will do it for today's video. Just up to you guys on the TT, how it's been, and if I got everything resolved. And then just a little tire review, I guess, even though I didn't really talk about it much. But just saying, they're excellent tires. Definitely recommend them. So, on that note, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it'll be soon and a little closer than I usually have been uploading videos. So I'll see you guys in the next one. If you want more videos on the Audi TT or the Charger RT, hit the subscribe, press the bell. I'll tell you guys when I upload new videos and notify you. Leave a like if you're happy that the boost problem's resolved and I got the tires on and the car's ready to go except the misfire. So yeah. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.